We're gonna do a gorge walk. Yep. I didn't get to go on the walk yesterday, so I'm really excited to go out and see the sights. I'm a little worried about, you know, getting sunburned. No, it's gonna rock. <laughs> on our way out to Katajuda, I want to teach you guys a very well-known Aussie sing-along song that has a bit of actions. We sort of learn it when we're young kids. So I want to sort of share this with you. It's called Home Among the Gum Trees. So um, I'm going to get you guys to follow me with the actions, and then I'm going to get you all to get it all happening. Okay, so I'm just going to give you the uh, the basic moves before I put the song on. So you ready? Yeah. Uh, are you ready? Yeah! So there's the gorge, isn't it gorgeous? So we've been told that there are 36 rock formations of that nature in this area. There are a lot of restrictions on what you can take pictures on, what you can take a video of, uh, because it is a sacred site. But it's big and beautiful. Gina and Ali have been doing like really epic yoga poses in front of Katajuda. They were doing it yesterday at Uluru too, so. So we are currently at Katajudo, which is basically a sister rock-ish of Uluru. So the reason everything is so red is because it's actually made of iron, basically. And it rusts because that is what iron does. So everything is red everywhere. Rano? Yeah. How's your hiking experience? It's good. That's Walk, good. Walking on uh, rock, which is metal. Yep. So I think that's mostly the water bottle making that sound. No, see, look, it doesn't make that sound. Okay. Fredo is currently wearing all of the Kentucky swag. Yeah. All of it. All of it at once. Every single item Actually, possible. Those pretty good. So this is the gorge part. There's a tiny little pond, and it's actually like moving. So you could probably, it probably wouldn't be a great idea, but you could totally drink this, right? <laughs> Why? Oh, you want to do like a little friendship thing? They're committed to this. Super cool. Just flat everywhere. Do you know how many deadly snakes are down there? Uh, all of them. All of them. <laughs> Goodbye, Uluru. I don't know what that is, but it's fascinating. I think it's water, but we're in a desert, so I don't know. Welcome to Cairns, the place where everything will kill you. I didn't know there was uh, going to like a tropical island. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the tropical rainforest area now. Yep, this is fun. We're going to meet in the reception uh, tonight at 8 o'clock. So uh, we just uh, put our clocks forward half an hour. So it's not 1.19, right? So it's not the right time. And uh, also the serenade up the back. So I'm just going to stop the serenade. <laughs> That is insane. <laughs> Prada, what are you doing? It's gonna lay eggs in your ears. <laughs> There's bats so everywhere. Bats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, bats. <laughs> 
Oh, right there. Right there. The Amazon. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they're <laughs> massive. <laughs> yes, they're fine. Look at him. I think those are real, um, and I think I they're those pelicans. Those are real. Are those pelicans? Yeah, but so. they look crazy. That's yeah. so weird. A flock of pelicans. They're just hanging out. They're technically swimming. They're, no, they're hanging out. They're hanging out in the water. Since everything can kill you here, including the crocodiles that are hanging out All right the on the edge, and, and the jellyfish for this season. So. For this season, so they built a huge, huge lagoon. The government was just like, "Well, you guys want to swim, so we'll help you out." Oh, there's a bat. It's a huge bat. That looks like a bird to me. That is not the size of a regular bat at all. Mary is not happy. When they're monsters, they're pterodactyls. They're pterodactyls. I've been walking like this. <laughs> Ellie has very special skills. It's a crazy German game that my uncle taught me, and I don't remember what it's called. Whoa! How many is that? I don't know. You don't know? I count them when There's I lose. So many, so many. That's crazy. I'll count them when I lose. One more, one, one more. Fresh I don't know how to use it. That was tech. Impressive, impressive. Hey, what's going on? Long time no see. Hi. I've been feeling very sick, but I feel better. Thank goodness. I spent yesterday just like sleeping, and I just kind of like caught up on myself. I read a little bit. I just chilled. Uh, today's been great, and right now the Apprentice A crew is filming interviews with some of the YouTubers. They're interviewing Jack right now. I'll show you, um, and it's for the the Kentucky videos that we're making. Out of the surprises and challenges have been surprising and challenging, uh, but. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> It was so good. What a nerd. Sam and I just had a really unique experience. We're back at the hotel and we're editing and getting videos up. Corey was in here and he was approving a vlog and we just heard this blood curdling sound. It wasn't even a scream. It was like an animal who had just seen a massacre or something yeah, and it, it was like it was really bad and it started like way out in the distance and then it came running past our room so we run outside and we don't see anything so we run down to Louie's room and Gina is in there and she's freaking out because Jessie had tried to prank her she figured it out sooner and just freaked out and ran out of the room and ran into his but the thing is that Louie had helped set up the prank it was like a beetle of some kind and when you squeeze it it like hisses and it was huge and black Gina was freaking out and like other people were coming out of the room so like Troy came out to see what was going on and we were all in Louie's room like asking what was going on and then there was a knock on the door and it's Jesse. Gina lost it. Well we kind of all did. Like it was kind of like this like she had like built it up so much that the bugs seemed to, like really scary but it was it was just a little guy. Even better as we're leaving Jesse gave the bug back to Louie because Louie was gonna set it free or something and instead he's like oh I think I'm gonna like Put it in my mouth. While Gina's watching, he he like takes the bug and places it in his mouth and doesn't eat it, but just lets it sit there. It was not something I expected to see at 12 o'clock. Everybody is in their separate rooms editing. Tomorrow is an early start, so I think we're all going to head to bed soon. Maybe some sooner than others. I'll see you in the morning. Have a good night. Daily vlogs, I want them in my subscription box I wonder who might drop by Even though sometimes it's Canada outside so don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, 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 hey.